T-Rex too. Very. That's Giganotosaurus. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> now, um, this is a replica of a of an actual fossil. This is this is this is and this is this. This, this is a model of a living Velociraptor toad model. So which eagle, Harvey, or like living Velociraptor? No, no. Um, it's like. They made this design to look like what a Velociraptor's toe claw would look like on a living Velociraptor. Okay. Because that's what you saw in the movies. Right. Yes. So we wanted something that we would recognize on my cart. Very cool. Um, but, in actuality, if they were to take this out of the rock, yeah. it'd only be like about that big, it'd be a little bit of bone like this. Yeah. Uh, the reason why we know it was like this, is when we get an entire imprint of the animal, like this archaeatrix, yeah. or that footprint, when we see the toe, we can see where the bone ends and the claw continues. Okay. The rest of the claw is made out of carotene, like the fingernail. Right. So as he uses it, yeah, it doesn't petrify. Yeah. So as he uses it, it continually regrows and resharpens. Now, are these the size of like the fossils from Utah raptors and stuff like that? Or is That's this what this is. This is a replica of a Utah raptor. Okay. Claw. Now, this claw is actually bigger than this claw, but this is a replica of a fossil and this is a model of a living one. If you add the carotene bow at the end and add a little more thickness and a little more curvature, yeah. you can see how this would be a bigger claw. Very cool. In life, these guys were only about three feet tall and about six feet long, and they had feathers. They were basically turkeys from hell. These guys are more like big bird from hell. These guys, these guys are closer to the size that you see in the movies. Okay. Um, although they're referred to as velociraptors. Well, the Utah Raptor was found during production. Yep, that's exactly. Yeah. Utah Raptor. Yep. 1993. Pretty cool. Um, now, the T-Rex tooth you were pointing out, his claws are more like the Allosaurus's claws. They're big and they're heavy. Yeah. Um, and, and then they petrify. Um, but he uses them differently, where these guys are jumping up in the air and they're looking for here and here and soft parts. That's not what this is used for. This is for that. Clamp. Holding down. So that way the mouth can come down. And he can use his other secret weapon, which is right here. Serration? Yep. He's got two serrations. And 60 teeth, depending on how many he's lost or regrown. So that's like 120 steak knives going into whatever it's trying to eat at the same time at 15,000 pounds per square inch. Yes, Spinosaurus was bigger than T Rex, but I still think T Rex is scarier. Yeah, the, the, yeah. These guys are running after going after big fish or anything that comes into the shore like an alligator. These guys. They have to deal with land animals, like the Triceratops. So, 